Hello, welcome back to my channel, Starshine Astrology. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Chiron conjunct the North Node. Um, and yeah, without further ado, Chiron is an asteroid in the sky that is known as the Wounded Healer. It is an asteroid. I don't know if I already said that. Um, and its symbol is a key. So it's basically an aspect of your psyche that is wounded. And you're probably acutely aware of what that feels like in your life. Um, but you might not be. But when an astrologer comes along and tells you, hey, you have this... This part of yourself that's been like a source of great pain and great struggle and vulnerability and not feeling sure and feeling less than others you're gonna be like yep so yeah that's um that's why i'm really interested in these chiron conjunctions because it's especially potent of course whenever it's like in direct conjunction to some other part of your birth chart so yeah, and then also in the last couple weeks, I've just randomly been meeting Chiron conjunct the North Node people. So I was like, I'm going to get into this video. So yeah, I'm going to try and do my best to discuss and represent Chiron, which is not the most easily understood part of astrology. Um, one thing I would like to know about it that it causes us pain and it's um yeah that part i feel like we understand it's kind of like a gash it's a wound it's it's something that we're aware of um but with that there's kind of like a duality to it where i think that we feel very unsure um and all things in life have duality or so they said. Don't ask me. Um, and so I think that like as we begin healing our Chiron, we are able to look at whatever this may be for you. Look at it from different perspectives, right? And be like, I'm going to try approaching this thing that hurts me like this today. I'm going to go around the back. And then the next day, you're just going to be like, uh-uh, nope, today I'm just taking it straight on. Like, I'm not scared. And, you know, at the end of the day, no matter how you approach your Chiron, it's probably not going to feel the best. Um, but it's that trial and error thing where you just when you have a part of yourself that's incredibly vulnerable i think by attempting to heal it from many different ways and perspectives you basically learn that like some things just hurt in life and um just to be really gentle with yourself and to have compassion i think that that makes sense to me too with the duality because when we're not dual when we're like or maybe we're completely dual like what do you, do you hear how that is all the same thing like we can just begin to see that like there is not necessarily going to ever be a right or wrong way or there can be a right way for someone that is the wrong way for someone else and kind of stepping back and being a third party perspective of that dual nature it gives you kind of a bit more of a heightened perspective, if you will. So mastering your Chiron, it could be anywhere in your chart, you know, I'm just gonna throw out an example because I think Chiron and Leo, no offense, Chiron and Leo, y'all, I think you guys have sort of an easier route than some other Chiron placements that it's like, ooh. Um, so let's say that you have, like your Chiron and Leo. You probably feel a sense of pain around like your sense of pride. You probably aren't 
or maybe your appearance or like your ability to kind of like be in the spotlight um or yeah yeah um and so maybe one day you'll just be like well today like i'm just not gonna even like try i'm not gonna speak in front of other people and then you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel pain because you're gonna be like Ugh, like it just hurts that like my pride is just wounded and so you're gonna be like the next day like okay today i'm wearing like a feather boa and i'm wearing these glasses and um i'm just gonna really go after it and then like you're in the spotlight people could be laughing at you people are like oh my gosh like we love her and you're gonna be like ouch like pain <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm oversimplifying it but that's what i wanted to kind of like walk through as an analogy around what chiron can represent because it gives you it just sounds really discouraging i feel like but it gives you a recognition that at the end of the day some things are never going to stop hurting you just learn to feel it and that it's not going to kill you you can feel that and and you can still like love yourself that's the ironic thing and there's another dual dual thing like i'm gonna go back with the leo with the leo example you can have a day where you're just feeling that chiron and leo so heavily and you're just like completely like why why would anyone you know want to listen to me or whatever it is that you just don't feel proud that day of who you are i think when chiron matures and when we give our chiron some love and we address our chiron oh shoot is it still going um then there can still be this quiet sense of self-love within your presentation of not being proud of yourself and you can have this part of you that kind of like observes let's be buddhists now like you can witness yourself feeling this pain and you can still feel peace around it and that I, it's not ironic that i bring up buddhism because like different spiritual religious like healing kinds of teachers and stuff kind of like sort of more or less say that same thing that to become a more healed version of yourself you just have to learn to like sit back and watch right like be the third be the third party watching yourself be like boop, 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 boop. um yeah and like through that process you develop so much information and knowledge and wisdom from from watching um so chiron also is a symbol of wisdom and having a lot of knowledge and understanding on a subject so now i'm going to bring it back to this aspect chiron conjunct the north node the north node opposite the south node it's where your soul would like for you to kind of move in life it's that direction you need to go in order to grow it's that realm where you feel like Ugh, like i, I want to be that but like it's just terrifying like it's kind of like maybe those things that you have dreams about like daydreams you're like picturing yourself doing it but like you would never tell anyone and it's almost like this quiet part of yourself that you're just like well that would never be me um and also like the times when you get opportunities and you're like I could take that but but you know what I'm already I'm already doing this and like I'm getting paid fine so I'm just not going to like the north node is the direction that it's like no take that risk like step out there and do that thing that you've dreamed about and that you feel other people can just do and it's not you um but it is you it is um i'm gonna go ahead and tell you that it's you yeah because it's your north node and that's where we all want you to go and you'll grow so much by going in that direction that you feel uncomfortable I'm speaking in broad and vague terms because I'm not talking about signs in this video, so hopefully you can gather that. 
Um, so when the direction that you are stubborn against moving towards is in conjunction with this source of pain, great, endless embarrassment and pain, guess what? You probably might not even want to move there even more. Um, but part of your soul and what you need to trust within yourself is knowing that that's where you got to go and that you can do it and don't be afraid of the pain. Um, and that where you're journeying in life is towards becoming like an incredible healer. Um, and I probably won't be the first to say this in your life, but in order to become that, you have to work on healing yourself. So, I mean, obvious, but still needing to be said, your north node and your chiron are opposite your south node. So, like, everything on that side of your chart is far away from where you started in life. So, when you're moving this way, um... It's because you probably haven't honed those skills just yet. Um, so yeah, like I feel like these people already will have the inclination to dive into healing themselves, but definitely take this video as an encouragement to keep doing that and to just like completely facing your pain. Um, Cause I believe that when you move towards your north node, you start feeling like so much more confident. And um, yeah, like your Chiron is a place where you don't feel confident. So you're moving towards your north node and you're becoming confident in yourself as you start doing those things that you don't feel confident in. It's kind of a juxtaposition here. It's like, guess what? We all have to move towards ways that we don't want to go or that we're stubborn to not want to go. But like for you, it's going to feel a little bit extra heavy. And this will probably just resonate with those people who do have this sign or have this placement because um, you're going to be like, yeah. And also take it in as encouragement that like it is hard to move towards something that is a great source of pain. But like feeling and working through your blockages is both incredibly rewarding for you and it's like going to be probably profoundly teaching to those in your life and around you um is there anything else that i want to say about this um i don't know if i mentioned that just because you have like a prominent chiron placement you're probably like a very sensitive person so that's extremely real don't let anyone else tell you like you probably are needing to kind of do some like rooting into the ground and like finding some alone time and things like that like expressing yourself like writing dancing painting like because anyone that has these like highly sensitive placements can absorb a lot of energy that is not really theirs and it's not helping them to absorb it so just learning to feel into your own body your body is such a good tool so getting into it in it's like it's not really separate from your mind and your spirit like doing yoga or dancing or whatever it is that you feel drawn towards and getting into your body is going to also release emotional blockages it's going to release fears um just and it's going to bring you a greater sense of where you stop and where another entity begins so you're not always picking up all that other junk that isn't yours to pick up um so yeah journey on my sweet chiron conjunct the north notes i'm proud of you all your spirit on some level might have chosen this and it wasn't an easy one um because the where you're going is an incredible place becoming a healer becoming a very wise person um and it will come with a lot of fear but don't don't be afraid of fear <laughs> yeah this video has just been like all about like duality i feel like um so yeah
I hope that this was encouraging and helpful to anyone. If you liked it, then like it. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye.